Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve a structural design problem that involves a column design using LRFT method based on e-structural design Zen found on the App Store. Design a reinforced concrete rectangular column using load and resistance factor design that carries an actual bending load at weak axis with actual dead load of 1,400 kN and actual live load of 2,700 kN with moment dead load of 140 kN and moment live load of 270 kN Design criteria as follows Strength of concrete 49 MPa Vertical bars 25 mm bar grade 414 Lateral tie bars 12 mm bar grade 414 Steel ratio 2% Given actual dead load equals 1,400 kN and actual live load equals 2,700 kN, the factored actual load is 6,000 kN. Given moment dead load equals 140 kN and moment live load equals 270 kN, the factored moment is 600 kN for an eccentricity of 100 mm at weak axis. Enumerate input parameters required. Column name C15, floor designation, footing to second, shape and ties, rectangle and tied, steel covering 64.5 mm, unsupported height 3000 mm, vertical bars 25 mm bar at grade 414, steel ratio 2%, lateral tie bars 12 mm bar at grade 414, Strength of concrete, 49 MPa, factored axial load, 6,000 kN, factored moment, 600 kN, and eccentricity, 100 mm at weak axis. Given steel ratio equals 2%, assumed column width equals 415 mm, and assumed column length equals 830 mm, the area of steel is 6,889 square millimeters and the number of vertical bars for 25mm bar is 16, with 4 bars along short side and spacing between bars at 95.33mm and 6 bars along long side with spacing between bars at 140.2mm. To get the nominal load and moment at E equals 100mm, let neutral axis C equals 324.6mm and height of stress block A equals 227.22 mm, given length of column equals 830 mm, and steel covering equals 64.5 mm. Follow the given computations to get the distances of each bar layer from the edge of column and force type relative to neutral axis. D sub 1 equals 64.5 mm, less than neutral axis, compression. D sub 2 equals 159.83 mm, less than neutral axis, compression. D sub 3 equals 255.17 mm, less than neutral axis, compression. D sub 4 equals 350.5 mm, greater than neutral axis, tension. Follow the given computations for stress and force of each bar layer. Stress at D sub 1 equals 414 MPa with compressive force equals 1219.331 kN. Stress at D sub 2 equals 304.566 MPa with compressive force equals 299.007 kN. Stress at D sub 3 equals 128.336 MPa with compressive force equals 125.994 kN. Stress at D sub 4 equals 47.87 MPa with tensile force equals 141.001 kN. Given FC prime equals 49 MPa, height of stress block equals 227.22 mm and column length equals 830 mm, the force of compression block is 7854.882 kN. By summing up all the forces, the nominal actual load is 9,358.213 kN. Follow the given computations for a final check of eccentricity at 100 mm. 
given nominal axial load equals 9,358.213 kN and E equals 100 mm, the nominal moment is 935.821 kN meter. Check for adequacy. The nominal design load of 9,230.769 kN is less than 9,358.213 kN actual load capacity. And the nominal design moment of 923.077 kN meter is less than 935.821 kN meter actual moment capacity. Follow the given computations for lateral ties. Design recommendation as follows. FC prime equals 49 megapascal, FY equals 414 megapascal, column size is 415 millimeters by 830 millimeters by 3000 millimeters, vertical bars of grade 414, 16 pieces, 25 millimeter bar, lateral ties of grade 414, 12 millimeter bar, 4 sets spacing, 5 at 100 millimeters, 4 at 150 millimeters. Rest at 250 millimeters. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.